What's going on everyone? This is Selkie and in today's video we're going to be talking all about Dendro and its new reactions that it's bringing to the game. We are going to be introduced to eight new reactions with this brand new element. And of course we are seeing Tignari and Kale and the Dendro Traveler uh, as our first Dendro characters. So this is a big deal because it's essentially going to change how we play the game moving forward. We've all been accustomed to uh, certain team comps and certain reactions. This is basically going to add a whole new bunch of reactions in here, give value to existing and new characters in the game, basically change up the way that we make teams, uh, what the meta is, etc. So it's super exciting to see this change in Genshin. It's going to be a fresh new take on how to build teams. Now, the new reactions that are coming to the game are going to be Burning Bloom, Rupture, Burgeon, Hyper Bloom, Quicken, Spread, and Aggravate. Eight new reactions. We're going to go over how to trigger all of them in this video and what they do. So you have somewhat of an understanding as to what to expect when 3.0 comes out in a couple of days. Now, Dendro is only going to react with certain elements, and those are Pyro, Hydro, and Electro. So Dendro is not going to have any reactions with Cryo, Geo, or Animo. And I'm sure you all noticed in the Sumeru trailer where we saw these new characters coming in, we had a Pyro character, a Hydro, an Electro, and then of course our Dendro character. So there is going to be a lot of emphasis on these elements moving forward. So the other thing to note is that while Dendro has reactions with other elements that would be like on par with like what Vape or Melt, Electro Charge do, where you have two elements on an enemy that basically cause a reaction, Dendro actually has double reactions that you can do. The two that I mentioned were Hyper Bloom and Virgin. Very interesting stuff. Let's just basically go over all of them one by one and I'll introduce those other double reactions as well as we get through this. So let's start off with Pyro and Dendro together, which is going to produce the burning reaction. And burning basically occurs when an enemy is afflicted with both Dendro and Pyro. Now, burning is going to cause AoE pyro damage over time. Burning takes once every 2.5 seconds, and the damage taken is going to be based off of the latest application of either the pyro or dendro that you inflicted on the enemy. Pretty straightforward reaction that we have here. Moving on, and we'll see pyro again later when we talk about the double reactions, but that will happen when we talk about uh, what Hydro can do for Dendro. Uh, but let's move on to Electro. When Dendro and Electro are applied, they create Quicken. Now, Quicken is an aura that is placed on the enemy. You can see the words Quicken come up similar to how you would with any other reactions that are happening, but you'll see Quicken come up. Once Quicken is inflicted on the enemy, you have one of two options for what you can do with your reaction. You can either trigger aggravate or spread with quicken. Now, if you want to go for dendro damage, you would do spread, which is basically when you apply dendro to a quicken aura and that triggers spread. And that's going to increase the base damage of the attack that applied dendro so it's basically increasing the damage of your dendro dps now if you want to buff electro you will go the aggravate route which is after you get that quicken aura you apply electro to the enemy to get the aggravate reaction which is going to increase the base damage of the attack that applied electro so again a buff to your electro dps now, Aggravate is going to scale off of EM and your character's level. So having a level 90 character, building them with some EM in their uh, substats is going to be beneficial to get the most out of Aggravate here. Now, moving on to Bloom which is Dendro and Hydro. Now, Bloom is a little interesting because this is where we're going to get into those double reactions. So Bloom occurs when Dendro or the Quicken reaction that we just talked about with Electro interacts with Hydro. This is going to create a seed around the enemy, which we have seen in Hoyo versus Trailer so far. This seed is what's going to be essential in getting the double reactions. Once the seed is on the field, if you use either Pyro or Electro, you can trigger a second stage reaction either 
Virgin if you use Pyro or Hyper Bloom if you used Electro. And these are the double reactions that we were talking about before. So Dendro, Hydro, get the seed. You hit it with Pyro, you're going to get Virgin. If you hit it with Electro, you're going to get Hyper Bloom. Now, if you decide to do nothing, the seeds will then cause rupture. And this occurs after six seconds of them being on the field, dealing Dendro damage. Now, remember what I said before about Dendro only reacting with Pyro, Electro, and Hydro. Now, seeds are not going to react to anything but Pyro and Electro. You used Hydro to get the seed. Now, they have a six second timer, which I just mentioned, which is going to cause rupture if you do not inflict them with Pyro or Electro. You can have up to five seeds at a time. You end up creating a six seed that is going immediately cause a rupture attack. Now let's talk a little bit more about rupture. So if you do Dendro and Hydro and then do not do anything with Pyro or Electro, you're going to get the rupture and that means that the seeds on the fields will explode after six seconds. They're going to deal AoE Dendro damage to the enemies, but they're also going to do it to you. So make sure you keep that in mind. The other interesting thing here is that if you do not want to do anything and you want the rupture reaction, be aware that enemies can actually trigger either a hyper bloom or version reaction if they have pyro or electro. And that can actually also deal damage to you as well. So it's definitely something that you wanna be mindful of. Now, when it comes to virgin, when you apply pyro onto the seed, that is also going to be dealing uh, AOE dendro damage to enemies and nearby party members. So again, you need to be careful there. When it comes to Hyper Bloom, that is when you apply Electro onto the seed, you're going to get a spark that is going to deal dendro damage to the closest enemy. Now, Hyper Bloom is the only case where the reactions that are triggered by the player are not going to also harm the player. And that is basically it. So from what we know so far about Dendro is that it's very EM heavy. Like I said before, when you're thinking about those quicken teams that trigger either aggravate or spread, you're gonna wanna focus on uh, EM to some degree because reactions like aggravate are gonna scale off of EM and also the character's level. So it does look like these electro teams specifically are gonna need high investment. Now that's not to say that you should be like slapping on EM as the main stats for all of your electro builds. It does look like that benefit of building them like a DPS is still valuable here. Now I don't want to get into builds too much because I feel like that's murky and I feel like we need to just like see what it's like in the game before we start getting into like what artifact sets should we build them with. Plus we have a brand new artifact set that is coming out with the release of Dendro that I'm sure will be beneficial to some characters. As of right now it's looking like these reactions are really fun um, especially these double reaction ones. I could see a lot of teams uh, basically sprouting up because of this. And I, of course, am very, very interested in the Quicken Aggravate reactions because as an Electro fan, I am excited to see Electro characters getting a damage buff. But for now, that is basically your introduction to the Dendro reactions that are coming in 3.0. If you're conflicted on who you want to pull for, I did make a video going over the 3.0 banners and what seems most beneficial. So feel free to check that out if you're struggling there. And of course, in the comments down below, let me know what you're most excited about with these new Dendro reactions and what kind of teams you're thinking about. I would love to hear it. And be sure to subscribe if you found this video helpful. And I'll see you all in the next Genshin video.